Hello friends, this is Shravan. This is my YouTube channel, Civil Engineering by Shravan. To subscribe my channel, click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates. In this video lecture, I will explain you what are the different types of parameters should be considered before analysis or designing of any kind of the building. So, if you want to design any kind of the building which is related to your requirement, for example, G plus 1 building or G plus 2 building, initially we have to assume some important parameters which are related to that respected area or the, that respected solid characteristics. Okay. So, in this video, I will explain you what are the different types of the uh, parameters should be considered for designing of any kind of the building. Uh, in Stato software or ETAP software, SAP software, Tecla software or any other software which are related to your structural analysis and designing software package. Okay? So, I will divide these respected parameters into four types. First one is modeling part parameters, second one is analysis part parameters, third one is designing part parameters, fourth one is uh, what we call foundation parameters. Okay? First one is modeling, analysis, designing and foundation. Okay? So, first one is modeling parameters. So, before going to designing of any kind of the structure which is related to your respective requirement of the building, initially we need to draw the architectural plan for that respected house. Okay. So, for example, let us consider just I am interested to draw architectural plan of double bedroom house in ground story and a single bedroom house which is consisting of two portions in uh, first story. So, initially I have to take the architectural plan. So, from that architectural plan, we have to take some of the important parameters which is related to your number of stories. So, for this respect G plus 1 building, I am considering number of stories are 2, ground story as well as first story. So, that is the first two parameters as per the modeling part. Second parameter is length of the building and third parameter is width of the building and fourth parameter is height of the building. Okay? So, this is the parameters. So, along with this respected parameters, we need to take center to center line between the columns okay center and uh, center to center line between the columns is also one of the most important parameter that will be taken as per the modeling part okay so this is the parameters which are related to your modeling part so after modeling process is completed we have to go to analysis process so before going to the analysis process again we have to assume some more important parameters okay so which are related to your respected analysis part okay so first one is beam size and column size as well as slab thickness. So, these are the three main important parameters that we have to define before analysis part. Okay? So, we have to assume the length of the uh, beam as well as width of the beam. In the same way, we have to assume the column dimensions, length of the column as well as width of the column. Again, we have to assume the thickness of the slab for that respected G plus 1 building or G plus 2 building, any one of the building which is related to your requirements. Okay? So, this is the three parameters initially we have to consider. So, for assuming this respected uh, parameters, we have to take the types of load cases. Generally, there are different types of loads are there which are acting on the respected building. Generally, as per my assumption, as per the Indian standard system, just I am taking weight loading condition, live loading condition, floor loading condition, seismic loading condition as well as wind loading condition. So, again, along with these load cases, we have different types of load cases are there which are related to your snow load, temperature load or uh, other type of the loads. So, we have to assume the load cases which is related to your respected building. So, as per my G plus 1 building example, just we have to consider the respected uh, load cases of dead load, live load, floor load, wind load as well as seismic loading condition. So, as per the Indian standard system only, just I am considering. So, depending upon that respected system, just I am taking this uh, what we call 5 types of the load cases as per the assumptions. Okay? So, these are the parameters we have to assume which is related to the respected building. Okay? So, now in that seismic loading point of view also we have to assume the different types of the zones. So, generally as per IS 1893-2015 code, it was divided into four types of the seismic zones. So, the major cities of the India was divided into different types of the seismic zoning conditions. Okay? Zone 2, Zone 3, Zone 4, Zone 5. I, was, I think I was already explained this respected concept in my previous videos. So, please follow that video. So, I will provide you that video links in above cut link as well as below description of this respected video. Okay? So, we have to take the respected seismic zone for that respected city. So, along with that respected uh, what we call seismic zone, we have to take the soil type. So, soil type also is divided into three types. One is loose soil and second one is medium soil, third one is hard soil. So, we have to take any one of the soil condition 
depending upon your site requirements okay so initially we have to face the soil conditions also so that is also one of the most important factor we need to pick while designing any kind of the building so this is the concept which is related to your seismic load so as per the wind loading point of view you need to consider the assumptions as per is 875 code so we have to take the parameters from the respected code so initially we have to assume the basic wind speed value so we need to take the basic wind speed value for that respected city okay so along with the respected values we have to assume the terrain category so terrain category is also one of the most important uh, factor we have to take by designing any kind of the building so in the analysis part we need to take beam size column size slab thickness and types of the load cases and seismic loading condition uh, in that we have different types of the seismic zones as well as uh, what we call soil condition so in that wind loading condition we have to take the basic wind speed value as well as we have to take the def, uh, terrain category so these are the important parameters we have to consider for analysis part okay now i will explain you what are the different types of the parameters we need to consider for designing of the building so this is important step in designing of the building we have to choose the is code so we have to choose the is code or any other code which is related to your british code aci code american code or any standard system okay so we have to select the proper code so the proper code selection is also one of the most important factor we have to assume before designing so along with that we have to take the grade of the concrete as well as grade of the steel so the grade of the concrete let us consider m15 m20 m25 m30 m35 m40 these are the different types of the grades as per the indian standard system we have to take any one of the grade for the respected building structure we have to assume that respected what we call grade before continuing to the designing part so along with that we have to take what we call grade of the steel grade of the steel also one of the most important part we have to pick so uh, in the market it was available with fe 415 grade fe 500 grade steel fe 550 grade steel nowadays fe 600 grade steel is also available in market so we have to select proper grade of the steel depending upon your design requirements so these are the parameters so along with this respected parameters we have to take maximum size of the reinforcement as well as minimum size of the reinforcement so this is one of the uh, most important step we have to take so initially we have to assume the what is the maximum diameter of the bar that we are using for the designing of the respective structure so again we have to take assumption which is related to the minimum size of the bar size which are used for designing of the respective structure so these are the important factors we need to consider which are related to designing part which are selection of is code and grade of the concrete grade of the steel as well as the min maximum size of the reinforcement minimum size of the reinforcement that we have to take so last one is uh, what we call foundation design so before designing the foundation we have to take the proper assumptions depending upon your building requirements so uh, we need to take the type of foundation generally as per the indian standard system the foundations are divided into isolated footing combined footing pile cap mat footing so we have to choose any one of the respected uh, foundation as per your requirement we need to take any one of the foundation depending upon your requirements of the structure okay so again we have to select the soil bearing capacity soil bearing capacity is also affect the reinforcement values which is related to your designing pattern so this is the uh, parameters different types of the parameters we have to consider before designing of any kind of the structure so which are related to your respected what we call modeling part and related to your respected analysis part and related to your respected designing part and related to your respected foundation part most of the civil engineers and structural engineers will consider only these parameters they to 90% depending upon this respected uh, data which is related to your respected parameters we have to design the building structure so whether it is comes under your gps one building or gps two building or gps three building or gps four building or gps five building depending upon the requirement of the respected person okay this is the process we have to consider different types of the parameters before construction or before designing of the any kind of the building by using stacker software etap software sap software or tecla software or any other software which is related to the structural analysis and designing part thank you